Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Brave Fencer Musashi, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we are now doing the second part of Soda Fountain, and this one is a pain in the ass. Basically, you got a shitload of doors you gotta go through, and that's the bad news. The good news is, back in Chapter 4, I believe, you did get a calendar from the mayor's wife, and you might think it seems pretty shitty. But look very closely, this is actually the order of what you need to go through the doors. With that said, let's go through this one first, because that's pretty much the only one we can go through at this point. And the thing about these doors is, if you go through the wrong one, you have to start the entire thing over. Okay, let's look at the calendar right now. As you can see, the uh, first one is Earth which matches this door over here. That said, we're going through the right way. But if you make one mistake, guess what? You have to start over from the beginning, and that's no good. Can okay, we see a little button over here we need the earth crest for? Now I got a little bridge. If I fell down, I'd have to go through some certain door, and while I have no choice, I'd have to start over. Okay, there's a door here, but that one does not match what we need to go through. What you need to do is pound this switch several times. Four to be exact. I can go over here. Alright, let's go through the boob door. The boob with a very tiny nipple. Alright, let's see what's next. A whole lot of spikes. This is where the Sky Scroll will come in handy. There we go. Now, is this the right door? No, it's not. Okay, when I step on this platform over here, the spikes go up. But if you get off, the spikes go back. This is what you need the Sky Scroll for. Oops, I forgot to charge it. What the hell am I thinking? Let's go down, and then you can go down. Now, is this the right door? It, it better be. Usually when there's a little puzzle, the uh, door at the end of the puzzle is the right one. Okay, now I gotta go through another door. I believe the next one is fire. This one's a bit tricky, as you can see why. You gotta go through poles, and I fucked it up. So guess what? I have to start the entire thing over. Because watch, you go through here, then you go through that again. So yeah, this is pretty much the beginning of that segment. Yeah, it sucks. Because shit like this tends to happen quite frequently. With that said, I'll be right back. I'll meet you back at the pole room. Okay, I'm all the way back. Oh, let's try this again. This time I'm not screwing up. There we go. Next one is fire. That's the right door over here. Okay. Let's see what I gotta deal with next. Let's see. The bridge is out and there's no torches lit. As you can tell, fire is the way. Perfect. Let's cross the bridge. Just do not get crushed over there, of course. Okay, that's not the right door. We gotta go through here. There we go. Now let's keep going this way and let's see, is this the right one? Oops, I'm not supposed to go to item. Okay, I went through fire, so... So this should be the right one, it's water. go. Alright, now we see torches that are lit. So, believe it or not, we actually supposed to put them out. There we go. Okay, now let's put this one out. And go down. But make sure water's still active because there's water down there. Okay, I believe the next one is, well, obviously this one, of course, but let me double check and 
Looks like there's just one more door in that sky. And I'm going through the wind door. Alright, let's see. Now the next door is going to be a bitch because you got wind to deal with. You might think, oh geez, wind's not a bad thing because we've been through that before, right? Well, taking into account there is also a pit. That yeah, shit like this happens. You gotta start over because you missed that jump. Be right back. Okay, let's try this again. This time we're going to nail it. Okay, try this again. We're gonna nail it. We're gonna nail it. We're gonna nail it. There we go. Yeah, that door was a bitch. Okay. Oh, but it looks like we're not done yet. Let's see, which way am I supposed to go? Well, obviously that answers that question. Now we need Sky Scroll again. But you have to hover at the right time. Like here, for instance. Like, just make sure you don't land on the spikes, of course. You have to guide it very carefully, and not fall in the water. And there, you made it! Wow, that was a hassle. Oh, looks like I gotta deal with another boss. Um, I think I better use a sea drink. I don't even know why I brought an H mint there, because I mean, if you can't get tired, what's the point? That's an epic fail on my part. How kind of you to come! Your next opponent is Leader Force's b brilliant boss, Ed! Huh? So you're their leader? Yeah, ben said he was the leader. Y you're looking at him. I may be s small, but you c can't defeat me l like you did Ben. I must thank you b before you go to your g g grave. What do you mean? You'll be put away by m m me. Then I c can give Lumina to Capricola and b b be p promoted and l l l live ha happily ever a a a after. Yeah, you wish. You're gonna burn for what you tried to do to the village. W w we'll see about that. Enough ch chit chatting. Better say your p p prayers. You p p p p ah! first. Uh oh. Down. Hamehameha! Holy shit. That's gonna be hard to avoid. Just keep jumping over it. And then when he does his Hamehameha wave that's flaming, you got a chance to hit him. Okay, watch out for those bouncy balls over there, because after a while they'll explode into flames. Well, eight flames to be exact. If you cannot outrun this thing, just try to jump over it. After a while, he gets tired, so use that to your advantage, like I said before. You'll probably only get like one hit, but that's good enough. So you might as well use your strongest weapon, which of course is Lumina. There. Oh shit. There you go. Ah, I got my mind up, and I hit his force field. Yeah, you don't want to get too close to him, but don't get too far either. Usually there's only two spots where you can easily hit him. Like between now, after he does his main air wave, and another time when he throws his second bouncy ball that bursts into flames. Those are pretty much your own your only two chances to hit him. Other than that, he's invincible. I can probably hit him like earlier, but the thing is, it's pretty hard to telegraph. Go, give him another jump, and I say we should be good to go to him. Damn it. Okay, one more hit, I should get him this time. Nope, he was invincible. Got him! Pretty much cleaved him in half. Well, should have been. Amen. 
I just b b b b b b fucked you in your ass, b b b b bitch. <sighs> Moving on. Right now, we gotta go through even more stuff. Now, the next part over here isn't a mind fuck, it's more of a physical muscle fuck. Because now you get to this part, dealing with the strongest enemies in the game. And you gotta deal with these Bincheloids. The blue ones like to fire a three-way spread fire, which can pretty much nuke you to shreds if you're not careful. The red ones are orange ones, really. They fire homing rockets. Now the homing rockets are my favorite weapon. So I'm gonna try to assimilate. Because trust me, these abilities are practically overpowered. Press the circle button to lock onto an enemy and shoot telekinetic bullets. Consumes 10 BP. I mean, it's a lot of bincho points, but trust me, it's overpowered. Actually, I think the most overpowered weapon is the grenades you get from the green enemies. Those attacks do a ton of damage. If you can get the grenades, go ahead, but it costs you like 50 BP to use. That's its only disadvantage. And destroy the statues too, to get plenty of Bincholin and health. Besides, don't you want to break up the fewer statues? Just to cause some vandalism and shit? And... Damn, those stupid Darth Vader helmets. Pretty much only hit them when they're down. Luckily, they drop down now and then to hit you. Then you'll come across these gates over there with lasers. So don't stick around for too long to be targeted. Destroy the gates and you'll get across. Let's see, I should go to the right, I suppose. Like, this is balls to the wall hard, but it's also one of my favorite segments because of the added challenge. Plus, you get to nuke a lot of shit with your powerful weapons. I mean, you can get a three-way gun, but I don't really like it. I prefer it in Contra, but not this game. I don't know why I'm still getting money. I mean, I'm not gonna be using it. Ouch! See, the grenades are so powerful. And you got these walkers over here, the flamethrowers. They got a useless fencing ability, so I don't really want that. Oh shit, oh shit. I was gonna get that health, but I saw those grenades there. I mean, for 50 BP, you'll do a shitload of damage, but I prefer the homing missiles. Oh great, now we're in a maze here. Luckily, this ain't like the maze in Castlevania 64 where you got Frankenstein chasing you and a couple werewolves or wolves in general. Or maybe they're just rabbit dogs. No, wait, it's these guys here that got the fencing ability. Pretty useless in my opinion. Luckily, I get them on the left because their swords are on the right. You can use that to your advantage to attack and destroy them. But don't always get too close. Be sure to use your homing weapons. Especially if Bencholin is nearby. There we go. I just gotta keep trying to level up Lumina. I think it's close to max level. Okay, there's something in that chest there. And I'm pretty sure it's not money. Hope it ain't money. That'd be pretty useless to get, in my opinion. Let's see, I'll go for the chest first and then try to find an exit. Ah, another EX drink. Perfect. That should compensate for the healing I've been using. Ow! You hit me right through the wall! What the shit, man? What the shit? Okay, let's see. I suppose I can go over here. Get another hundred bunch of points. I have to go around this way. Hopefully this leads to the exit. Let's 
with these guys going with their swords right through the hedge maze? I must think that they're all that. They can put their swords through the walls and that. Okay, I see the exit nearby, but I think I have to approach it from the right. Get some more health, which is always good. So far I'm doing alright. I think the first time I played this, I've had a struggle, but then again I didn't bring a lot of healing moves. That was my fault. Fatality! Wait, you're not dead? Okay, now it's fatality. Okay, another segment. Oh great, flamethrowers right off the bat. Fail. Not your heat seeking. Gives. Oh, the aluminum went up. What the hell? Man, these evil trees. They pretty much function the same as those lasers by the gates. So this is nothing new. I just wish I didn't have all these enemies to go around. There we go. Fuck the trees. Yeah, Arbor Day can suck my dick. Whoa, whoa! Alright, oh, it's just those lasers. Okay, there's the gate that I need. Why do these gates have to have the fierce face on it? Is he that much of an evil maniac? Oh, of course, he's the bad guy. Most villains are. Usually the villains are pretty much the biggest sociopaths in the world. It's always like that. Always has, always will. Just jump over the lasers, that's how you avoid damage. At least these homing missiles are making going through the gates a bit easier. Oh great, now there's lasers in the uh, statues. What is this, Mario 3? What gives? What is your obsession with lasers? Who's soon you're gonna find lasers on these sharks? Oh wait, that dust powers, my bad. Oh great, another gate. There, get rid of that statue. They're still shooting me again. Oh, huh, that was close. I thought I was gonna get hit there. Yeah, I think I, I did get hit there. Okay, so far so good. Hmm, let me guess, the fountain is evil too, I bet. Okay, maybe the fountain's actually safe. Just the gate next to the fountain is not. Huh, didn't even get a chance to strike. Oh, great, it's flamethrower bot. Oh, couldn't hit it that time. There we go. There. Get through it fast enough and you'll be fine. You suck. Okay, so clearly I have to climb up here. Yeah, I'm pretty close to the end, I'm not gonna lie. That's great news. Okay, good, the laser couldn't hit me from here. Yeah, I'll thrash you with Lumina. Because I'm hardcore. There, I'll save on my homing rockets for later. Wait for these evil trees! And apparently there was an evil fountain too. What the? Okay, this enemy is new. Okay, but it's pretty much the same as all the others, like just a flamethrower. If I can go after the lasers first, then focus on the flamethrower and he's gonna be fine. We need less obstructions around me. Oh, Rumperoni was a bit of a fail there. That's a stationary target, too. It's not cool. There we go, but if you do hit the Rumperoni SP, you do a fair amount of damage. There. Take care of that problem. And that problem too. 
So I'm guessing I have to go down here. Oh, something's gonna happen. Okay, so I got a lot more crap, but you're gonna find out what happens in the next part. See ya, everybody.